on another weird swatch. Just a minute. Just a minute. Whew. Crisis averted. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I would say overall it was just kind of like a girly sort of makeup week. I was pretty much just going with like neutral eyes. I love this cheek combo. Oh my goodness, wore this multiple times this week, and I cannot wait to share with you what this combo is because I feel like these two products were like meant to go together because they just pair so nicely together. I love it. And then I have a bunch of lip products. Because it was one of those weeks where I would like start out with one and then I would switch to another one and I was trying a bunch of different ones. So we got a lot of lip products to talk about this week. So let's get to the favorites. For eyes this week, I just talked about this in a haul recently. This is one of the L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palettes and this is in 104 French Biscuit. So you guys know that I originally bought the blue one of this like of the what are these called I just said it and I already forgot the pocket palettes I bought the blue one and it was terrible so bad not pigmented didn't blend well but then I was hearing like so many people saying that they really liked these but like not the blue one like they were talking about other ones specifically this one seemed like everybody really loved it so I went back and bought this one and I love this this is so good so Apparently, I just picked the absolute dud of the group because this is really nice quality. So if y'all have another one that you like from this line, like there's a couple more that I've been eyeing, like the rosy looking one. I think there's like a bronzy one. If you guys have another favorite, let me know because I'm impressed with this. And I think I just, you know, picked the bad one of the bunch because this is really, really pretty. They blend well. They wear well. I like the way it all like comes together. It's just a very kind of neutrally eye look. You know, I mean, this does have glitter, but I really don't notice it on my eyes. Like pretty much can't even tell, but I didn't ever wear it like all over my lid or something like intensely enough where maybe that glitter would come out. So, but I don't mind glitter. So I'd be okay if it showed up on my eyes, just an FYI. I haven't noticed it on my eyes, but I haven't worn it enough that maybe it would show up if you wear more of it. That's what I'm trying to say. Not very articulately. This cheek combo, y'all, is so good. One drugstore item, one higher end item, but they just pair so nicely together. I also talked about this in my haul recently. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush, and this is in C34 Tender Rose. So I already had two more of these blushes and I really, really like them. They remind me a lot of the um, Clinique cheek pops, just in that they're difficult to mess up where like they're pigmented, but you really have to like build them up, but they build really nicely on themselves. So I like that. I just feel like I have control with it. They don't just instantly stick on your cheeks and not blend. You really just kind of get to build them up and you can make them more subtle. You can build it up to more intensity so pretty. Tender Rose is just like a really neutral, subtly glowy pink. It's really, really beautiful, but it's not like a baby pink or a hot pink or something. It's more just kind of like that subtle, mauve everyday kind of pink color. It is absolutely beautiful. So I love this blush by itself. So I definitely think yes, yes, yes on this blush, even alone, because it has a little bit of a glow just by itself. But then adding this product with it just makes it like magical. This is magical on its own as well. So I love both of them individually, but they just pair so nicely together, especially. They're both just so good. This is the Stroboscope. Um, this is by Moon Play Cosmetics, Moon Play Cosmetics. And this is the Stroboscope Hyper Flash Powder. And this is in Vow. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I'm gonna show it to you, it's kind of it's got the little, um, you know, sifter stopper sort of a thing on it, but I just shook a bunch of it so that you could see it, and I think I shook a little bit too much. Um, this, oh my goodness, is so good. I don't even know what to say. Just look at it. I mean, there's not much you even have to say. It speaks for itself. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So this is like a glowy pinky gold 
but it, I mean, it's, it's very sort of pink, but it does have that like champagne -y gold sort of a tone to it. It does have shimmer, but it is so tiny. It just looks amazing on the skin. I mean, but it does have shimmer. So you have to go into it knowing there is shimmer, but it's so tiny. I mean, it's not chunky glitter. It's not, it doesn't end up all over your face. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So I have it on my cheekbones. I have it on the inner corner of my eyes. I wore it on my lids. Um, I, I didn't like it as much on my eyelids, but I loved it on the inner corner. Love, love, love it on the cheekbones. So, and they are pricey. I think that they're, I think it's around $43 or something like that. But I mean, this is giant, huge container. So I would love it if they had like a smaller version. I mentioned this when I first talked about this in a haul. Um, I would love it if it was like half the size, half the price. I think that would be really, really great because you don't need a lot. So you're going to have this like forever, but it's absolutely incredible. So beautiful. And we have a lot of lip products to talk about this week. So first off from the body shop, this is the matte lip liquid, and this is in the shade Sydney Amerilis 14. So I have six different shades of these. So if you want to see the six different colors that I have, check out my Instagram because I have them all swatched there. But this one, Sydney Amerilis, is a really beautiful red. And it's kind of like a bright red. So honestly, I think this would make like a perfect like springtime red. But really, I mean, it's pretty any time of year if you just like a statement happy red. This is kind of like a happy red. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like bright and cheery. It just, it, it just looks happy to me. So it's a happy red. So if you like a happy red, you could wear this any time of year. But formula wise on these, they remind me a lot of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I really do like them. They feel like velvety and moussey on your lips when you apply them. And they, they wear kind of like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams as far as how they feel on the lips. But I would say that they're a little bit more long wearing than those. They wear more like a liquid lipstick. Now, when I was not eating with these, I didn't notice any kind of like a line or any of, the, of that kind of thing happening. But when I ate with them, I did notice that line. So that's why I say they remind me a little bit more of like how a liquid lipstick wears longevity wise. But I did notice like the first few hours that I wore them, I thought that they were really comfortable. But then several hours in, like maybe, I don't know, four hours in or something like that, they started feeling a little bit more on the dry side, which is kind of how a liquid lipstick is. But first few hours, I thought they were really comfortable. If you like that velvety, moussey sort of texture, I think you would like these. A negative I would say is the little applicator is kind of small. So I had to dip back in multiple times, but I mean, that wasn't the end of the world and it did build on itself nicely. There was one color that kind of had an issue. Um, it was the darkest shade that they sent me. I can't remember the name of it because they have long names, but I mentioned on my Instagram so you can check it there. It did build on itself, but the first layer was kind of a little bit patchy. So I, it's that darker kind of purpley wine color, which I feel like a lot of those kind of colors that happens with. So it happened with this one, but um, not this one, but that color, this formula in that color. But it did build up and looked really nice after a couple layers. But this one I didn't have any problems with and I didn't with any of the other colors either. And then Octoly sent me several lip products this week and two of them are definite standouts to me. But I first wanna talk about these. I did try these out this week and I think they're pretty good, but they weren't like a standout favorite for me. These are the Manicadar Beauty Simplified Lip Locked Priming Lip Wands. So I have two, two different shades. I have Joy, Joy, J-O-I-E, and tart. So this one's kind of like a pinky color. This one's kind of like a bright orangey color. So what I will say about these, if you are a matte lipstick girl or guy, if you like matte lipsticks, I think you'll be fine with these. But if you don't like the feeling of matte lipsticks on your lips, these are probably not for you. But I am definitely a matte lipstick girl. I am all over the place with these swatches. What is happening right now? Let me fix these. Y'all know how I feel about my swatches. Hang on. These are gonna be giant swatches, but they, they gotta be semi-straight here. Okay. Whew. Crisis averted. I think I fixed them okay. There we go. So that one's Joy. This one's Tarte. So I am a matte lipstick girl. I'm fine with it. I don't mind that feeling on the lips but these are not the most comfortable 
matte lip products that I've ever tried. They don't feel like the Maybelline creamy mattes or anything like that, but I, I didn't find them to be uncomfortable. I just didn't find them to be the most comfortable matte lipstick that I've ever worn. I really like this color. This one's a little bit bright for me. Um, I just don't grab for those colors a lot, but I really like the color of this one. So again, if you are a matte lipstick person, if you don't mind that formula, then I think you'd be fine with these. But if you don't like that feeling on your lips, these may not be for you. But these, oh my goodness, I love these. These are the Manicadar Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stains. So I'm wearing one of these right now. These are incredible. They're such a cool formula. I've tried one of these before, I think in a boxy charm. This is in the shade All of Me. And I remember I was like blown away by it when I got it in that box. So I was so excited to get to try two more shades from them. The kind of nudie color I have is All of You. And the sort of like pinky shade that I'm wearing is Lucky. These are such a cool product. They have a really long wand. So that's kind of it's a little bit strange to use. I feel like I'm gonna like break the thing, but I mean, I haven't broken it. It just, it's a very long wand, so I, I don't know. It's just, it's not really a problem. It's just kind of a little bit different. So All of You, right? Yeah, All of You is a gorgeous kind of like peachy nude. And then Lucky is just a gorgeous like muted mauvey pink. Oh my goodness. And I'll show you the other one I have too. So these are such a unique product. They're, they really are like a staining gloss. They're really comfortable, not sticky at all. So that's why it's like amazing to me that the gloss does stay around for a good amount of time. The stain stays around for a long time. I'm trying to like get everything situated while I'm talking to you. I'm get just, I'm having, I'm swatching while I'm talking. So, the glossiness stays around for a good amount of time, but then that stain lasts a really long time. But they're just so comfortable for how long they last. Oh my goodness, I mean, so, so good. So if you've never tried these, I feel like I've tried like, you know, several other products that are like kind of glossy stains, and I think they work pretty well, but usually, glossy stains are sticky and these just aren't like i'm amazed by it i don't know how they work i don't know what sort of amazing makeup magic is happening here but it works somehow so this one is all of you this one is lucky and then the one on the end is all of me so just amazing such a cool product love these so much um i would say well i love this shade but this week specifically, I was wearing this one. I didn't wear this one this week, but this one, I wore both of these this week, but this one I think would be the standout for me this week specifically. But this product in general, love, love, love it. And I think I've said that a million times. And lastly, a very fancy, luxurious product. This is the By Terry Rouge Expert Click Stick. And this is in the shade Four Rose Ease. So this is kind of interesting. So it looks like this, and it's got the little thing at the bottom and you like, click it up to get more lip product out. But I feel like I was clicking for a long time <laughs> when I first got this. So you click it, you know, I guess if you click it up too far, you're kind of out of luck because I don't know how to like get it back down in there. So don't, you know, get click happy on it. But this one is a really pretty pink shade. I really like this a lot. I think I posted a picture on Instagram wearing this one. Hang on, another weird swatch. Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, I gotta fix it. I, I gotta. I gotta. Okay. Better. There we go. Better. Okay. So Rose Ease is a... Y'all think I'm crazy. I, I am a little bit crazy, let's be honest. But okay, so this one, really beautiful, everyday, girly pink. Like, I feel like it's really girly, and it goes really well with this um, cheek combo. Oh my gosh, it's just such a pretty makeup look. I do really like this product. It has a, it has a certain smell. I cannot think of what this smells like. But it reminds me of something. I don't know if it's Avon lipsticks or Mary Kay lipsticks, or something about it smells nostalgic to me. It smells a little bit like almost baby powder soapy. 
but I don't mind it. I think because it's it's got that nostalgic sort of scent to it. I don't know what that scent is, but I don't mind it. So formula on this one, it is really, really comfortable, long wearing, um, just a good, comfortable, creamy sort of a lip product. I don't even know what it even says about it, but I really liked it. What does it say? No more compromises. One click and you can have it all. This three-in-one hybrid lipstick is rich like a balm, precise like a pencil, and intense like a premium pigment. In just one stroke, it reveals the boldest color impact all day. Blah, 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 blah. Keeps going on. Yes. Okay, so basically it's just, you know, supposed to be kind of like an all-in-one sort of a lip product. So, and that's what I used it as. And I liked it for that reason, but I really do like this color. That's why I was saying that I kind of did the like girly sort of makeup look this week. Like it just, that's a girly pink. And with the girly cheek, it all kind of went together. And I like the kind of cool packaging that's something different and fun. This is a pricey lip product for sure. So you're kind of paying for all that, you know, in the price that you're paying for the kind of like cool packaging. But I do really like the product inside. So I think it's cool packaging, but I like the product inside and I really like the color too. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.